people from across the 6th District gathered in front of the Lynn Community Center because we wanted to make sure that all the candidates running for our congressional seat understand that we're not going to accept any attacks on Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Although we did have a victory with the Supreme Court's ruling of keeping the Affordable Care, Care Act intact, if the Paul Ryan budget goes through and they try to um, take away the funding for the Affordable Care Act, it is going to hurt people currently on the system. It is going to destroy those that are trying to have a future here in this country when it comes to health care and Social Security. And we're trying to get people out to know what their candidate stands for and to make sure that they get out and vote. And the bottom line is that one candidate running for the 6th Congressional District, Richard say, accepting money from the author of the Paul Ryan budget that is out to destroy these systems. And we would like candidate Richard say to give back the Paul Ryan budget money and to represent the people in the 6th District like he says he wants to do. that if the Ryan budget goes through, then the Affordable Care Act is no longer funded. So it would be a, it would be a bad win for us. So what we have to do is to make sure that all these uh, pillars are in place so that we can have good quality health care at any age. Yes. It right. will affect us, as um, the speakers have said, if um, we don't, if we make Medicare into a voucher program, Everything that we want in the Affordable Care Act, your um, yearly exams, your visits, the closing the donut hole, that's all gone right. under the Ryan budget. That's why it's so important that we know what our candidates stand for before we go vote. So make sure that whoever represents the 6th Congressional District knows that we say no to the Ryan plan. Right? 